So today, for your viewing pleasure, we have this Emerson Research. Where's the model at? Model number CKS2862. I think it's right. I don't know. Made in China. The smart set unit. I think it is from circa 2010, so I don't know if this is... This is not old enough to bear the actual Emerson Research name, just the actual name Emerson. But, in my mind, I'm still going to consider it an Emerson Research. This one's a bit dirty. It's grimy. It was used. I don't know if it'll work. This is an initial checkout. I've actually never plugged this one in before. Let's see if the smart set still works. It appears that it's not... doesn't work anymore, which is a shame. Low bat. You have your AM indicator. Alarm 1 and 2 are on. I'm not sure if there's mechanical alarm set buttons on this like the older machines. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to guess this is alarm 1. Our AM indicator is working. I think our, our set the high. There's a low dim. I'm sorry for my head bonk to the face. Or day of the week set, since so it's Saturday. Um, let's see if we figure out how to set the time. I think I just press down time in our up and down buttons, which is time current. So we'll just do I'm sure if the time button actually work. That is not in good condition at all. I also like where, how it starts off around 8. It makes it really easy after a power failure. I think this time button here is just not in good condition. Actually, I think our up button is just really what's messed up. Let's see if I put any significant force on it, if it will actually work. I guess I'll try to adjust our time up to the five. And our first position should be our buzzer. So let's wait for this thing to go off. I think these have speaker buzzers on them. This thing's actually this thing actually is in really rough condition and it does deserve a good bit of contact cleaner. We put away this tripod which should not be there. It's just now a waiting game until the unit decides to go into alarm. Anytime now. Anytime. I know I said alarm one because the indicator works. Oh. It's beeping. It's just really quiet. I'll hold the unit up to the microphone.
I wonder if the piezo in this just died and that's why it was mainly taken out of service. Maybe the backup battery decided to take a dump. Um, oh, it's getting louder. Now, this would wake someone up. It takes a bit of time for the alarm to actually get loud. It's not a Z button. Works, and it has a blinking alarm indicator, which I absolutely love. Just like my childhood Emerson. Nice clock. Let's do a radio check. I think we will turn off our alarm. I don't know how to turn on the radio on this one. I have our computer here on the side. I'm guessing, where's our radio on? We have a volume. I don't know where our radio on button is. Oh, it's this one here. Very, very crappy sounding. This sounds worse than my other lessons. So there's a video of this Emerson Research alarm clock, um, whatever the model is of it. Yeah, this thing is not in the best of condition. It could use a bit of work before I would actually put it into service. For a longer video, uh, seven minutes, he seemed to go to about that long.